Welcome back, collective. I'm back with another message for you. So let's go ahead and let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you so much and we are so grateful that you have transformed our minds by the renewing of our spirits, that you have revived us spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you that we are no longer children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. We are not double-minded men and women unstable in our ways, but we are fixed on you, Lord Jesus. I ask you to give us guidance, wisdom, instruction, and counsel in the situation. Help us to have a clear mind and perspective, receiving and understanding exactly what it is that you want us to know. Give us the insight and the clarity that we need to move forward. We rebuke the enemy and we rebuke the devil and all of his works. We cancel every assignment that the enemy has placed against our mind, our bodies, our homes, our finances, our children, our families, our integrity, our name, our health, our wealth our inheritance, our destiny. We cancel the very assignment of the devil now. And we thank you, Lord, that it is you that we see and you do and you we live, we move and we have our being, God. I pray that you would speak through your Holy Spirit, Father. Holy Spirit, have your way. Use me in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. Hi. So, um, Okay, so this message, I did clarify just like a couple of the cards because I just wanted to make sure I was, you know, seeing this the right way before I started recording. So um, you have somebody here that really feels like, well, first of all, this person felt like you lost something in your life or there's something that happened to you where either you were removed from a situation or... Um, something was taken from you that just can't be easily recovered or just can't be recovered at all. This person feels like, you know, like you, you found yourself, this is how they feel. They feel like you found yourself in a, in a place where you didn't know how you got there, how you were going to get out, like where you were. So this person feels as though you ran towards um, this quest for public, you know, just public justice, public reform, you know, to change some things. Either th this person feels as though you ran towards basically like salvation. If this is new for you, if you are like a new Christian or like if you are a new believer or you have like recently reaffirmed your love to Christ or, you know, like there's been some level of awakening in you just out of a place of not knowing you, you actually were able to see very clearly that you just need to just run towards the cross, <laughs> which is literally like what this picture is here. But somebody feels like you did this out of a lack of options or like they were looking at it like you were doing this out of a lack of opportunity or option. This could be you and a child or it could be two people. It doesn't have to be. But it's like somebody sees that when you needed direction in which way to go, you turn directly towards Christ, but not just turning towards salvation and accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior or reaffirming or, um, you know, however this shows up for you. This person feels like you did this on a level where you actually advocate and speak up for other people. Like, you know, like you are all for just really battling social injustice. If, you know, like you are the type of person where you're going to stick up for other people. You're going to always fight for those that can't fight for themselves. It's like, if you see something, you're just really done and tired with all of the injustices, with all of the things that have not been right. There's been people that have been truly hurt and left behind or um, not clearly guided, or, you know, there's something here where it's like, you can clearly identify where, where the need is, or where they're, I don't know, this is almost like out of a space where you had to restore hope, you went straight into a space where you restore hope for other people, you're not going to leave anybody behind, you know, 
this is also, you know, this person feels as though you got to a space or a place in your life where you were just very tired of the endings that were happening, whether these were accidental or these were just, um, you know, at no fault of your own. There could have been things happening to you that you really didn't fully understand and the level of injustice, the level of loss that you've experienced, the level of, you know, mourning or sacrifice, or it's like you getting the short end of the stick. That was just basically all you needed to move from a space of not really knowing how to locate yourself, who you are and being, you know, identified to going directly to being empowered for yourself and for other people. This person, they're seeing now that no, this wasn't a lack of options for you. This was you actually seeing clearly for the first time. This is when you gained clarity. Um, what is the Bible? You know, like you have to be lost to be found, you know, like you have been found. You went directly from a place of being lost to being saved, being found, um, you know, very much strong <laughs> in the Lord. And it's like, this person is seeing now that the reality of the situation is you didn't make poor choices and you had a lack of options. You actually walked away from whatever was that you were, that had you feeling lost. You actually withdrew your energy and you, uh, you abandoned that and went into a space of, you know, like self-analysis and you decided that not only are you not going to deal with it happening to you anymore, but you don't want it happening to anyone else. You get what I'm saying? And, and it's like, now this person sees that this was the process of you awakening, allowing the Lord to find you. And you literally, like you walked away. You could have traveled um, you could have literally just abandoned some form of plans. Um, but whatever it is, this came from a space of self-analysis. You, you know, like this is you taking care of self. This could, you could, there could be two of you that you're responsible for, you know, just take it how it fits for you. But you had options in this and, you know, this person is seeing this now, like you didn't lack options. You didn't lack inspiration. As a matter of fact, you were being divinely guided and led by your spirit guides, your guardian angels. This is like you receive messages through the Holy Spirit, through the divine, whatever synchronicities or however, you know, God gets messages to you. This person is seeing now that this was something that you stood up to the challenge to do. This wasn't you you being in a space where you were lacking opportunity or motivation, or you just had to like, oh, you know, at the bottom of the bear, whatever. No, this was you really deciding that you're going to stand up to the challenges, the, the opposition, you're going to allow guidance, you're going to allow patience, you're going to allow understanding and everything to, to move you in how it is that you make your choices, in which way you go. This person also feels like, you know, this, a lot of this happened and took place for you when you were left out in the cold. So there was something that really put you in a space where it, it was a dark night and day for you. You know, this could have been a dark week, month, year, whatever it is. This was a level of suffering or pain or um, exile or the feeling of being left out and like the world is against you. You know, like there was just a lot going on and you had to deal with a lot of it on your own, whether this was in a large space or you maybe were, you know, in a very cramped space doing this. You could have just been out of place, you know, just really in a space that's uncomfortable where nobody can fully understand what it feels like except for you and God. You get what I mean? Like this is just when you experience just a certain level of displacement physically, mentally, emotionally, or feeling rejected or left or lost, or, you know, like these are the moments that help us to really see what we're really working with, who we really are. 
and who we really have around us and for us. And this person knows this is when you got a lot of your insight is when you had to be stuck wrestling and, and, you know, battling your own demons, looking at yourself in the mirror and healing your darker aspects or whatever, you know, like you went through a process this person feels like while you were in this process, there's some type of supernatural assistance that literally just came in and started to encourage you, um, or that has been encouraging you, that has been assisting you, that has been making sure that you're staying happy, you're staying motivated. You like, you know, like you have like some type of spiritual, um, like your ancestors are cheering you on or like you are really receiving some type of supernatural assistance and partnership or friendship or collaboration. Like there's something here that feeds your happy hormones, you know? And they, they feel this way because it's like, this person sees you making very good decisions. They know that you are receiving assistance from your spirit, you know, from your angels in, you know, all of the guardian angels that God has assigned over your life and your family. And now it's like this person feels as though you stir up something on the inside of them where it's like the, they feel like maybe you got this supernatural gift to stir up, um, romance or love and affection or some type of poetic speech, or, you know, they feel like you have this, this divine gift of creative speech, or there's some way that, I don't know, this, this gift that you have. And it, whatever this is, it makes them, it moves them in their heart space to the point where now they want to confess or they want to confess. They know they're being angelically guided to confess something or to admit that they did something wrong or they are embarrassed about something or, you know, something was their fault. I'm going to read this another way too that I... I'm seeing this now. So somebody feels like now they are very scared. They don't know how they got to the place where they are. This could be up to two people. They don't know how they even, you know, stood in such a dark and vacant energy in, in, in regards to like mind, body, and soul. And like, why did they do this? How did they get here? This person feels like they did something dark that they want to run away from. And they did it to a crusader for Christ, a warrior for Christ, an earth angel, someone who is very, you know, like very much concerned with what happens in the well-being of other people, not just yourself. And now that they're seeing this very clearly, that you've experienced a lot of pain, a lot of endings, you could have had, you know, a season of suffering or whatever in your life. And it's only made you speak louder. It made you bolder. It made you want to fight even more. It made you take action even quicker. It made you seize the moment, even the, even the greater, just to stop whatever has been happening. It's like this, you know, like, and this person feels very guilty. They feel like they need to run and hide because you're on a campaign against public evil now based on wherever they place themselves in this scenario. And now they don't even recognize themselves or it's like they can't even connect to the behaviors or to whatever they put in against someone that is doing the will of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, and it's like reality and clarity is setting in of who you really are, that it's like this is your life purpose. God is gifting you with all of this angelic assistance to really make sure that you can speak up, you can fight, you are present, you, you are available, you do have the additional resources. There's a lot that God does to strengthen this position that you have spiritually. Because being selfless, being a peacemaker, it's very necessary. Yeah, so this person, they see now it's like you've reached your limit. 
they came against someone and <laughs> Hang on. Holy Spirit, please clarify this Eight of Cups. This Crusader. What is this? Okay, the Ace of Pentacles and the Temperance. So you're in a better balanced energy. Yeah, this person thought that you had a lack of opportunities or you made poor choices or you had to go run towards something like it was the last option or something. But actually, actually this is like your first <laughs> thought. This is your first option. This is your balance. This is your peace. This is how you're able to manifest so many beautiful opportunities for you. This is why you are this earth angel. Like this person is seeing this and they're very, very shocked. They're very shocked at the level of spiritual um, connection that you have with the divine, how harmonious that is, how you're having this new opportunity. They see you as a soulmate in some capacity. And this person feels like now that they see that, you know, like they're acknowledging you have options, you have opportunities that come towards you all the time. You're a phenomenal person. You chose to go down the path that you chose. And this is going to bring you so much good news. You could be starting something brand new. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person just feels like the the decision that you made, the choice that you decided to go with this path is doing so much for you. It's causing so much growth. It shows your potential. It's it's um giving you an opportunity to to, you know, activate and express your talents and your gifts and things like that. And now it's like this person knows that you get so so many messages, how you are divinely guided. This is someone now that feels very burdened for not being more patient with you, for not being able to see the clear picture if if they were um if they felt spiritually guided at any point to really see the truth they didn't and this is someone that feels like you know they dogged out a very beautifully a beautiful kind-hearted person and they chose to ignore the messages that they were getting from the divine and this is somebody that wanted to see you out in the cold it was like this person feels like they had some type of demonic influence or they had the wrong people around them and encouraging them to do the wrong thing to say and act in the wrong ways and it's like now that they see this they see that this was some type of strategy to really destroy the connection or it was something to you know because the this person feels like now they see why there was an investment made against the connection and they because you are a soulmate to them or a twin flame or a counterpart in some way this person has not lost any level of desire for you or attraction. And the more that this person is stirred, this person could be a poet as well, or you could be a poet. But the more this person listens to you and you stir up this level of romance and, you know, you show this gift of, you know, your whatever your gift in cre that you're creative about. This is what really shows them that there's a connection here. There are shared values. There's a very, there's a very um, intense partnership. This person feels like this is a perfect connection. They want to say something. They keep spying. The more this person spies, the more it stirs their curiosity. The more they become guarded. The more they don't want to say anything or they don't want to speak. This is someone trying to be very mentally agile, like they're trying to think for you and think for them when it's like the divine is pressing them to just go ahead and admit their wrongdoings or what they've done or what they, you know, and this is somebody that is really concerned about being drawn into some type of argument. They know that you're highly intelligent and you're very quick witted. So I mean, it would, you know, like they could take you by surprise, but then they wouldn't take you by surprise kind of thing. 
This is somebody that feels like you just took very quick action towards better judgment. You know, like you really had to sit in a space in your mind and consider the options that you chose or the options that you have presented and make this make something concrete or this is this person doing this that feels like they had to do this. They were hasty and they didn't, you know, like they lack judgment. Now they feel punished for this. Like this is somebody that wanted to run towards a holiday romance. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm seeing. And they feel very judged. This is somebody that feels like, you know, they really rushed. Um, just finding any reason for them just being excited to just find some way to go rush off and do this or take sudden action here or go here, whether it's like something that made them feel excited or something that they felt obligated or committed to, or something they felt like would be, you know, long-term or would be like a, a benefit for them later. This person just had an exciting time going back and forth. And now they feel very much judged because this is somebody that knows it's very apparent that they came at this from an empty heart space. This is the true part of who they are. This is the deeper part. This is the answer to the question. Now that there's a, a punishment inflicted on them and they feel like they are being inflicted with some type of spiritual judgment and spiritual punishment from the divine, this person could really be... Um, they feel like this was a poor financial decision, but at the same time, they feel like this was them being in this lacking balance because they were so quick to just jump at any opportunity for romance or rushing towards some type of excitement or something like that. I just saw the nine of pentacles try to come out, but it popped back in there. Yeah, but they feel like, you know, this could be someone that really feels like they're they're just lacking some type of like peace of mind, emotional balance. <clears throat> this person is someone that This person is very detached and this person feels like who they've always been in this very detached and stern kind of like, they could be harsh and just like, um, you know, just not very kind when they speak at times. If they're saying something or if they're giving advice or if they're giving guidance and this person knows they feel like it's all being exposed, that they just have an empty heart, like this is just who they are at the deeper part. Yeah, they feel like you can just see them very clearly for exactly who they are. And now you're not worried, like you're going to face this head on. They feel like you'll fight them off or like you'll be guarded because you're having so much um, achievement and reward. Like you're realizing your dreams. There's something that's happening that is really bringing wish fulfillment for you. This person being in this empty heart space and being cold and rigid towards you did not shatter your dreams. It didn't put you in some waking nightmare. You're still positive and optimistic. You're still doing, you know, the things that make you happy and bring you satisfaction. And now this person sees this as like, you're able to see this very clearly. You are not going to allow anybody to walk all over you anymore. It's like you're being fearless about this. They know that there's some type of punishment coming back. There will be vengeance inflicted on them for whatever criminal act they did or whatever um, crime they committed towards you or something like that. And now they feel hopeless. This person could be very much quiet about this. 
and just sitting in silence over this, but they feel like their hands are tied because this is somebody that came into agreement with two or more people. It was supposed to benefit them, whatever this was, this is them and their partner, or this is them in, in whatever capacity, but you're so resilient. You are battle weary from all of this but your courage and your persistence, and it came from your innocence. It came from you being blamed or you being punished or you being, you know, treated badly and having to really go through some level of suffering that had nothing to do with you. And this person knows that whatever deal that they made or whatever they did to try and hurt you so that it was beneficial for them and somebody else, it's, it was all done. They did it for, for money or they did it for some type of vast wealth, or they wanted to be in power. They wanted to be in some type of control. So they blamed you. They made you take the blame for things that you had nothing to do with. Hmm. This person knows that you are so close to success and you were innocent the entire time and they treated you like a doormat. They treated you like you were enemies. It's like this person has spoken curses over you. They've backstabbed you. They've done things to ruin you. And now they are in this space where they're in a, they have this inability to cope because you were innocent and there's something coming towards you. If you felt that justice will be served with this retribution, it's like now that you see very clearly the type of empty, cold-hearted person that you were dealing with and what was being done towards you, it's like you were being punished, just standing in a very naive space and energy, not really having all of the details of the information or what's going on because you had nothing to do with it. Although you were paying the price, you were the one suffering or whatever. And now if you've had this hope and you know, like you've had faith that something great will come out of this, there will be justice served. God will come through for you. And, you know, like you being in this quiet and gentle and meek energy, it made this person or these people feel like you're easily imposed upon or easy to take advantage of. I have hope. Your innocence is what is really bringing in this undeniable truth. And there is something coming towards you. Yeah, this person is just like, they feel like they can't escape this ruin. And, you know, they there's something that they feel like they didn't learn from the past in doing something. So now they sit in this, this space of failure. They feel like a failure. This is somebody that can't sleep at night now. You know, they don't really see the light at the end of the tunnel. And they're experiencing a lot of unhappiness right now because of this judgment. God's angels are, you know, placing blame where it needs to be placed. And if you're innocent, the blame is being removed from you and being appropriately placed where it should be. And now someone is going to want forgiveness or they're going to ask for forgiveness. But the, this self-evaluation, group evaluation, overall evaluation of someone's behaviors or... um their decisions or someone making a snap judgment on you against, you know, like, yeah, it has so much to do with you being this dreamer, you being so sensitive and so loving. And, you know, a lot of people are not very happy about your success. There's a lot of aggression. There's a lot of ego. You know, people are very territorial when they see someone as triumphant as you. It's like you ride in like this. This is like just how you ride in. Not that you're trying to be seen or have some type of public ignition or applause or or some type of crowd or whatever. This is just who you are. And now someone is really regretting because you have options now. This is your justice. You get to choose your next path. All right. I'm going to leave it there. All right. I hope this helps. 
<laughs> like, share, subscribe. Love you. Bye.